Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, I will show you the new symmetry system in Cinema 4D 2023. The new symmetry is not a tool nor a generator, but a mod. It is a completely new system and it is right over here. If you click on that, it's gonna activate it and it will affect every object in your scene. Of course, you need to be in components mode like polygon, edge or points mode. Let's open up the options. I'm gonna put this one over here. And let's select these objects. I will turn up the solid region surface and go into polygon mode. The first thing you will notice that the selected components will be highlighted on the other side too. It's the same for the points and edges as well. And you are free to work on any side. Like for example, you can work on over here. Let's make and inset then use fit circle tool i will insert one more time and move these like that then get some supporting edges and you are gonna get the same shape on the other side now let's do something on the right side i will select these polygons make any sets again fit circle tool i'm gonna move these down some supporting edges and here you go now let's check the other things i will enable show planes options at first you are not going to see anything because you need to be in polygon edge or points mode so let's go into polygon mode and you are going to see that symmetry plane only the x is enabled so you are, on, you are only going to see the X. If you enable the other ones, you are going to see them as well. But in my case, I will just need the X. So I will just turn the X on. And the other great thing about the new symmetry system is that you don't have to delete the other side. Actually, let me show you in a new scene. Let's say that you have a cube and you want to use symmetry. To use the symmetry, you will need a center line in the middle is one then you need to make the object editable and make a loop selection then fill selection and delete the other side then you need to put a symmetry generator over the top and this is how we used to work with the symmetry generator but not anymore let's add a cube and i will make it editable i will not add anything like a loop cut I will just enable symmetry and here we go we don't need to do anything we don't need to add the center line and make a selection and click the other half and put a generator so this new system will save you a great deal of time as i told you at the beginning once it is enabled it's going to affect every object you select for example Let's select this one, go into polygon mode, and if I select these and extrude them, it's going to extrude the other side as well. As you saw, I didn't put a generator, symmetry generator. I just used this as a global symmetry. But what about the objects that are not perfectly aligned or not in the center of the world? We check this one out. As you can see, it is right in the center of the world if you check the coordinates. But if I select this one and go into polygon mode, we cannot use symmetry. For such cases, you need to change your space to local. Now you are going to be able to use symmetry just like that. Let's select these ones and extrude them. Perfect. So this is how we are going to use symmetry for these kind of objects that are not in the center of the world and have some rotations. We have also work plane and custom options for the space. I will not dive into them yet. I believe you are going to mostly use global and local but uh, these might be really useful for specific tasks. Now let's check the tolerance. For that one, I will open up a new scene. Let's add in a cube. 
I'm gonna make this one editable. I will move that edge over here. And now, as you can see, the object is not perfectly symmetrical, but with this tolerance, we are gonna able to make adjustments on every side. For example, let's enable symmetry, show planes. I will enable this all. And I want to select that edge. As you can see, because since I have moved that edge, it's not gonna select that edge, even though we have enabled y x and z but if i increase that tolerance in this case 32.9 it's gonna select non-symmetrical components too such as this and this edge so let's select this one and label them for example and here we go i believe this tolerance will be really useful in the future projects it will save you a great deal of time now let's check the boolean workflow with the new symmetry system i will add this cube in scale this one make it editable uh, for the moment i will turn off the symmetry then let's enable symmetry one more time select that edge and will it out now i will put a cube and scale it i'm gonna put this one somewhere around here now i will select this object i will put this into a bool and the other cube as well now we have our bool but as you can see nothing is going on on the other side although the symmetry is enabled because we need to make the boolean editable let's make it editable uh, sorry i will go back and enable create single object which will give me a single mesh again nothing has happened because we need to go into polygon edge or points mode and then right click and select symmetrize tool this is kind of a replacement for the mirror tool but more advanced and linked with the symmetry hub. Let's open up the options. As you can see, link with hub option is enabled. Hit OK. As you can see, it tried to mirror the parts on X, Y, and Z. Now I will undo that and I will just enable the X and right click, symmetrize, and say OK. No, it works. So you need to be really careful with the symmetrize because it is linked with the symmetry hub. Also, you should always check which side you are working on. For example, I added this detail on the plus x axis. So I should select plus to minus. Now let's make it harder. I will close this for the moment and I will add a cylinder. I'm gonna put this one over here and another bool. I will drag this off to duplicate it and I'm gonna put this somewhere around here. There should be enough. Of course, I need to group them. Now it's gonna be more challenging because this time I want these details to be on each side of the cube like over here, over here, and over here, which makes four sides. To do that again, I need to make this bool editable. Before doing that, let's enable create, create single object, make it editable. Let's open up symmetrize options. In order to mirror these details on every corner of the object, we need to turn off link with up option, which will give us these direction options otherwise we are gonna get just two options when the link with hub is enabled but when you are working with complicated objects you need to turn off link with hub option so we are gonna be able to control every mirror direction option for example we added these details on the minus z axis so i should go to z and change my 
direction to minus 2 plus. Then let's check the x. If you check the z axis, we added this one on the plus side. So I should select plus x to minus x. We can turn off y because uh, we don't need it. And that's going to be all. Let's hit OK. And here we go. So in Boolean workflow, you need to be careful about what direction you are working in. As I told you, if you add this detail on here, it means that it is on the plus Z. If your detail on here, it means that it is on the minus Z because this is the border of the scene. The right side is the plus Z, the left side is the minus Z. If you look from here, this Part, the right side will be plus x and the left side will be minus x. If you keep this in mind, you're gonna be okay with the booleans with the new symmetry system. Now let's check the type option of the symmetry hub. I will change it to topology. It does basically create a mirror plane based on your selection. For example, let's select this object. I will go into edge mode. And I will make a selection. Let's select these edges. Then select the edge loop mode and then say define selection. It will create a selection tag. And then you can go into polygon mode, for example, and select these polygons. As you can see, the selected edges act like a mirror plane. Let's make any set and it's circle tool. Another and another inset. I'm gonna push this in and cut. And here we go. As you can see, we can also add non symmetrical details to an object with the help of topology type. This topology type is great for hard surface stuff, but its real potential is in organic models. Let's check this dog out. As you can see, the object is not symmetrical at all. You can check the feet and check the head and the tail. It is completely non-symmetrical. Let's select the object, go into edge mode, and I will try to find the center. Edge loop of the mesh, like this one. Just double click on that, then open up the Symmetry up, change type to topology, loop mode should be edge, and I will say define selection. It's going to create a selection. From now on, whatever you select on the right side will be selected on the other side as well. Of course, we need to enable symmetry. And now, for example, let's select these polygons, and you're going to see that. The same polygons will be selected on the other side, even though the object is not symmetrical. For example, let's select these polygons over here, and the same polygons should be selected on the other side. Again, the object is not symmetrical at all. These Polygons have completely different positions, but with the help of the symmetry edge selection, we are going to be able to select these polygons. Like here, as you can see, the tail is not symmetrical, but we are able to select these polygons because these edges acting like a mirror plane. As you saw, the new symmetry system is a big advancement in Cinema 4D in terms of modeling for both organic and hard surface modeling. It will save you a great deal of time. The older one, which is still around here, was kind of annoying. It had some problems, but with the new symmetry update, your workflow will get much faster and you will be able to create amazing stuff if you dive into this for example, work plane and custom spaces and with the topology type, it will enable you to create crazy stuff.
you again dive into this so for now that's it for me hope you liked the video and learned something new i will see you in the next choice bye